Hi everyone, Mrs. Lam here. Today I want to honor an Asian artist. Uh, her name is Pasita Abad and she was a Filipino-American artist. She was known for bright colors and using lots of funky patterns. And today I wanted to show you how to create a piece of art that looks very similar to her mask pieces of art. Um, notice that she uses lots of bright colors, lots of zigzags, squares, circles, lots of different shapes to create patterns. I'm going to show you how to do something like this today using a piece of paper and a sharpie. If you want to uh, draw with the pencil first, you can do that and then outline after. All right, here we go. Now I'm using my Sharpie, which can bleed through paper. So I just have a scrap piece of paper on here so it doesn't go onto my table. First, we want to create the rectangular, almost like a head, a head shape, a rectangular head by drawing two lines going down. Next, I'm going to draw some semicircle shapes, kind of like her on the side here, almost like an ear. So two semicircle shapes the best you can. And then she's got lots of stripes, diagonal lines coming out of it to make diagonal stripes, I mean. So we'll find the middle and then start drawing some stripes out. It almost looks like an orange slice. Okay, next we're going to split the mask in half, just like she did. We're going to draw a line down the middle. Then right after we get to about here, we're going to pause and draw almost like a, a football mouth shape. Then the two curved lines, and then the line going back down again. All right, so find the middle around here. Straight as you can going down. Lift it up when you get around there. Draw your football shaped mouth the lips and then inside. And then we're gonna draw two curved lines like this using the corner of the mouth. She has a curve going down under the mouth like that. And then finally one line down the middle again, the best you can. If it's a little crooked, that's okay. Let's move back up and do the eyes. We're also going to use that same football shape from before, so the eyes We'll be around here to find a spot that you want to do the eyes. And go ahead and draw your football shapes. Top of the football, bottom of the football. The eyeballs, she had them going in opposite directions. If you want them to go the same direction, that's totally fine too. This is your piece of art inspired by her. So you can take these basic instructions, but add your own style to it. So I made mine like hers, but if you wanna go in the same direction instead, that's totally okay. Now above the eyes, she has lots of almost like semi-circle shaped lines. We're gonna keep going with that. And she makes some skinnier and some thicker, some thinner, some thicker. So I'm gonna do some thin ones, then a thick one, a thin one again, then another thick one, and then one more. I'll do the same here. Now notice that whatever I'm doing on one side, I want to do it almost the same on the other. I want to make them very similar, as symmetrical as I can. Because she does the same on hers. Notice that in her mask art, she um, does, what she does on one side, she tries to do almost the same on the other, but not always the same. For example, over here, you can see that she does some polka dots here and then a zigzag here, but then she flips it. So we can do that later on when we do patterns, but for now, try to just, let's just draw the basic shape first. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to do now a giant swooping semicircle under the eye. So one here, one here. And then notice that she does, from the corner of the eyes, she uses kind of diagonal lines that almost over, almost overlap. So I'm gonna start with this one. You're gonna go from the corner of the eye and sweep it diagonally down like that. Three, and then pause, go to the other corner of the eye and do the same, but don't let the lines overlap. They kind of just intersect, they just touch. And then same thing here. I'm gonna start from the other corner though this time and sweep it out this way. So they look almost like they're floating away from each other. 
Next, I'm going to do two more lines going down from both sides. Again, let's keep it symmetrical. And then I'm going to do some, I'm going to do some stripes down in this part here. I like that she uses lots of curved lines, but then uses some straight lines to give the art some contrast. So it's much more eye catching. You get a little bit of both. All right, and then she has some lines in the middle here. If you have room, you can do that, or you can do, or you can keep going and do more straight lines going down if you want to. Again, this is your art, so you can decide. All right, we're gonna move to the bottom here. The bottom, I noticed that she has almost two rectangles first, so we'll do that. And then I'm going to fill it in with these circle shapes. Now the circle shapes are kind of oblong. They're not exactly even. So I'm going to draw not a perfect circle. I'm going to draw maybe like a long oblong shape. And then maybe like a flatter one, almost like a, almost like a rock of some kind. And then keep going all around it. All right, the last part are just adding in the borders here. So a line there, a line there. All right, so you've done the basic drawing. Now it's time to fill in some patterns. Now, let's take a look at hers for inspiration. She uses some zigzags, polka dots, polka dots. She uses lots of tiny dots and bigger dots, uh, and some plus signs I see, some swirls. Notice also that she doesn't put patterns on every single space because some spaces she saves for really bright colors, which also help your art look eye catching. So I need to remember that. I don't want to put patterns in every single space. I just want them in a few places. Um, and I notice I want to make sure I use only shapes, shapes and lines. She doesn't use too many like hearts or stars or things that look like other things. She uses shapes. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do you can do what you want. You can do circles, uh, dots, zigzags. Again, try to be inspired by her. Um, I'm going to put I'm going to put some squares on the side. I think. I love the polka dots, so I'm going to add some polka dots here. And I notice that what she does again on one side, she does on the other. But sometimes she flips it. So for example. The polka dots were at the bottom, and now she puts them at this, the one second from the bottom. So I think I might try that. So polka dots here, then polka dots at the bottom. I want to do, I think, the zigzags. And the zigzags flipped on the other side. I like that she did the dots, the middle one, she did dots in the middle. I like that a lot, so I'm going to do that too. You can leave those for color depending on what you feel about your art. I like that she uses lots of squiggles and zigzags. I'm going to add a couple over here. Again, if you're using pencil, you can do your patterns in pencil first and then outline. Or if you're like me, I just went straight ahead and used my beads. Okay, if I make a little mistake here and there, um, I'm going to add, I think, I think that's it. I don't want to add too much because a lot of the spaces she does use for um, for color. So I think I'll just add maybe one more squiggle. And I think I am ready to color. Oh, sorry. I'm going to actually add these circles at the bottom. Almost like teeth coming out of a rectangle mouth. And she used a plus sign. So I think I'm going to do a plus sign too. I kind of like that idea. And then she uses swirls. I think I might use stripes. Okay, there we go. So there is your Pasita Abad inspired mask art. Go ahead, you are ready for coloring. I can't wait to see what you create in the end. Bye.